And you say, you want to play some paintball? Greetings. How's it going? Hanging out in Dungeon, doing some 3D printing, and I thought I'd talk to you about the uh, M17 um, lock bolt modification. So if you've seen my other video, you will be familiar with my Milsig M17 firing with a lock bolt that I designed and 3D printed and installed into this marker. It's game changing for this marker. Whole new level of performance. Um, so there's a I've been getting a heck of a response all over the place for this, and I, I wanted to update everyone because as of right now, you can't get it. This is the only one that exists. Um, so there are a lot of questions that are being asked, um, and I'm just going to talk about a couple of them, and then I'm going to talk about when it's going to be available. So, the biggest question is, how will I get one? Well, when it's released, you'll have to 3D print it. That's it. If you don't have a 3D printer, you're going to have to find somebody who can 3D print it for you. Um, the other question is, when will it be released? Soon. Uh, I am fine-tuning it. Um, there's some aesthetics I'm working on, and... I want to make sure the marker or the modification to the marker is um, reliable. And so far it's been, been reliable, but I, I have to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. And so I've been tweaking little things here and there. I've probably printed a hundred of these little things just to make sure that it is just right. Um, so I'm pretty serious about making sure that this design is viable. So the other question is, when will this be released? My target goal is the end of next week. I think I'll be done and I think it'll be ready for anybody to download and install it. Right now, with the current rendition, I can print it, put it together, put it in, and it'll work. Which is great. A few things I need to tweak. Um, also, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to be coming out with another video um, hopefully the beginning of next week, which is um, firing this more with that lock bolt in place. I also want to fire it without the lock bolt mod, and then on camera switch to the lock bolt mod, and then fire it. So you can see that it is not a hard modification. There are guys out there who have modified their paintball gun, uh, various brands, by machining some parts into it, and it doing their own kind of uh, lock bolt design. But I want to show you that that's not the case. This is bolt on application. This will go on any um, Milsig M17 CQC or A2, um, maybe a couple other variants that are existing and out there. Um, so I'm going to put that video out. We're going to do more firing. Uh, we got some bad weather coming on the East Coast tonight and in the next couple of days. So as long as it doesn't linger and gets a little better by the weekend, hopefully on Monday or Tuesday I'll have a video on that coming out. Other than that, look towards the end of the week for the lock bolt. Um, there's a few other things going on in the background and um, I don't know what's happening with that, but we'll see. I'm not really going to talk about that, but there's just some things going on. I'm getting a lot of response uh, to that last video and the lock bolt in general. Um, I also wanted to talk about another project project that I've actually been working on longer than the lock bolt. And that is an adapter for the standard magwell to accept Zeta mags. I know. They make and sell magwells that accept the Zeta mag. But that is not acceptable for me. That is not something I'm down with. Why? I'm already vested in the standard mag. If I change my mag well over to a Zeta mag, then what am I doing with all my, my other mags? 
they're just going to collect dust. But I, I've got plenty of these. I don't want to just let them sit around and collect dust. I want to use them. So the solution for me is an adapter. So you have your standard magwell on the marker. You take your 3D printer adapter, slap it in the bottom. It's got its own release lever. Put your Zeta mag in. Pop, pop, pop. Take your Zeta mag out. Take your adapter out. Put your standard mag back in. You can use both mags, no problem. And you don't limit yourself this way. And that's really what I'd like to have. Now, this isn't a new idea. I've seen it out there um, before. As a matter of fact, where the idea came to me back in 2014, uh, somebody else came up with an adapter design. I, he sold a few, and then I don't know what else came of it. He stopped doing anything with it. So uh, maybe he sold the idea. Maybe he just doesn't care anymore. I don't know. He hasn't given the STL away or anything like that. Um, but I'm looking to put this out as well for anybody who wants to be able to adapt their, their magwell to say the Mac without having to change the whole magwell. So why has this been taking me so long? I don't have a Zeta mag. Why don't I buy one? I ain't got money for snot. I, I really don't. I can't I can't go out and just buy a Zeta mag. It, yeah, well it's like thirty something dollars. Listen, that's expensive just to buy something and tinker around this. I can't I've got a family. There are more important things I've got to worry about than buying a Zeta mag. I truly, honestly, I can't afford it. I'm on a, like a paycheck to paycheck American dream here, you know. Um, it is what it is. Um, so, you know, if somebody out there wants to loan me a Zeta bag, mail it to me, I'll mail it back when I'm done. Hell, if you want to give me one and let me keep it, whatever. You want to give me a, a, a beat up one, it doesn't matter. Um, I just got to make sure that the mag catch and release is going to work correctly. Make sure that fits right, feeds correctly. And uh, i got to work out the bolt, the detent system, which is designed, and I haven't tested because I'd like to test it with a Zeta bag. Um, we can get this one out to you as well. Um, so, yeah, this, this is uh, also coming in the works. And if you want to help me design and come out with more stuff for this paintball marker and other paintball markers, watch one of the videos. Give me some uh, cash in my pocket, and I can put it towards that sort of stuff. Other than that... Uh, I th thanks for watching and I appreciate all the response about the, uh, the original video. Like I said, I got another video coming hopefully next week and look to the end of next week for the release of the, uh, the lock bolt so you can download and 3D print your own. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.